welcome to the Better Photography channel. Today I'm going to be looking at part two of my series, looking at the benefits of Camera Raw 2023 since the update. The subject I'm going to be doing today is exploring the histogram. Really, really very, very important. The histogram is a snapshot of your exposure. It gives you a diagram showing your exposure. What we have on this diagram here is a well exposed image. As you can see, it's a nice dome coming across like a mountain across the top here. It doesn't disappear up the edge here into the blacks and it doesn't reach the right hand side and climb up here, which would be an overexposure. I think first of all, what I'd like to do though is to look at your histogram on your camera. That's the first way a histogram can be used to its best advantage. If you can get it right in the camera, you won't need to do any of this adjusting in Photoshop. So let's have a look at the histogram in your camera first, before we carry on to the camera raw histogram. So here we are looking at the back of the camera. As you can see, I've brought up the live view there and you can see the histogram quite clearly there next to the image. And if you watch as you move the exposure up and down, the histogram will move to the left or the right. As you can see from this example, it's a wee bit overexposed. You can see that histogram is bunched over to the right hand side a wee bit. So by simply moving that across to the left hand side, you can see it brings the exposure down and allows you to actually get a much better exposed image. Similarly, if the image is underexposed, you can see that histogram is pushed over to the left hand side. Yeah. Yeah. What you need to then do is to bring the exposure across to the right hand side which then brightens it up and gives you the better exposure. Now this is an example of a nicely exposed image. You can see the curve is beautifully coming in from the right and over to the left. It's not hitting either edge of the box there, which means that you're going to get a nice level exposed image. And you can see in the image itself, it is a really nice looking image. If you're using a Canon, then there's a superb little tool in the blue menu, and this allows you to put a highlight alert on your image. So you'll see in the viewfinder, blinkies, where the overexposed area of the image will flash black and white and that allows you then to make the adjustment to make sure that you're not overexposing. So on an image like this, this is a histogram you'd be looking for. It's nicely domed, it's not running off particularly to the left hand or the right hand side, just clipping a wee bit on either side. That doesn't really matter, it doesn't affect the quality of the image. And it doesn't necessarily mean to say that a histogram has always got to be a curve like this. Look at this white image, it's got a purely, almost pure white image. The histogram obviously is going to look an awful lot different to something that's got a lot of tones. And that's what you get with this particular image here. And you can see all the whites are bunched over, but it's a perfectly acceptable image. Similarly with black, if we use a black image there, the histogram will be bunched across to the left hand side. And that's not a problem. This is just the way that it would fall with that type of toning. So you haven't got to worry too much if your histogram sits to the right or the left, if the image has a lot of black in it or if it has a lot of highlights in it. So we've now come back into Adobe Camera Raw and we're now gonna look at the, the histogram up here and how it can help me to make an adjustment to this particular image. This image is my header for my website for my wildlife and as you can see it's made up of a lot of light area up here which is shown on the histogram here and uh, those, this histogram is set into sections as blacks, shadows, exposure, highlights and whites. So anything down here is pure white Anything up there is black. And this is showing us a diagram. So that area there is where the, the light area is here. And uh, the other areas are this like tones down here. And there's some tools here that will help you a lot. And these here will help you if you're clipping. Shadow clipping there. And the highlight clipping there. You click that on and the box will go white. And what this has done is if you look down on the image here where my name is, that was pure white because I used it as a signature. And so that is showing up as having pure white and therefore it's given a red clipping warning. It's a little harder to see here, I'll zoom in. As you can see, there's a tiny little bit of clipping on the black there. It's not important on this image, but on some images it may be. And just for detailed purpose, as you can see on this little barnacle or whatever it is here, there's a tiny bit of highlight clipping on the inside of that. Now the thing that you can do to put that right is let's look at the uh, highlight clipping first. You just go to the highlight area here, you click on it, and you drag across, and immediately, it's actually taken the 
uh, clipping warning off the image. It's not really changed anything, really, really, because at the end of the day, it's, it is still pure white. But it can, it's very helpful if it's a more toned part of the image where it can actually adjust the colour itself. But it's also taken a little clipping warning from here as well. And here on the blacks here, you can do the same if it's important here and drag the, the black area across. And you can see... There's two things happening. The, it, on down below, the slider on the blacks is moving, and also the histogram itself is moving to show that it's taking the blacks up. So that's how you can actually adjust the blacks and shadows and the highlights and whites. You can also do it from the sliders down here. As these will have a similar effect, and as you can see, you can move your exposure up and down, and you know, and you can use your whites and blacks there, and that'll just shift it across. This is in three colours, red, green and blue. That's the three colours that make up RGB. All of the images that you take are actually processed in, in RGB. The three major colours that blended together can bring any colour to the screen. So this is a useful tool for correcting your image if you're overexposed or underexposed. If it's way overexposed, there's not a lot you can do with that. If, it's, if you have a, a line of pure white, at the end of the day, you're massively overexposed. If that's the starting point for the image, you're not going to get that back. You're going to be very, very lucky to do it. This tool here is useful when you made small errors that you can make a, a change to. Again, the black, the black is more recoverable, incidentally, than the white, because when the white goes to pure white, there's no pixels to recover. They've all gone to pure white. Sometimes when it's underexposed, you can in fact bring it back when even it's quite dark. So use the histogram to make adjustments to your image to perfect your exposure. And this then gives you an opportunity to get a perfectly exposed image. See you next time on the Better Photography Channel.